Good morning, children. So, ready for your next lesson? Hmm? We are continuing our grammar. Grammar, no one lesson will be completed. Then I'll start textbook. Okay? Turn by turn. Hmm? So, today we are continuing our page number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll see if I'm able to. Otherwise, for 12, 13, Bashi Raksu. Kinds of sentences we were doing. Now, uh, here we have to mark whether the sentences are assertive or negative. Assertive means yes sentence and negative means no. He does not want to go to the party. This is declarative. He, what are you doing? Achha. First one is correct. What are you doing here? This is a question. So, interrogative. Gross. How are you, Smita? Cross. Yeah, I have marked for you. You can also mark. Hmm? We have done last year also all these things. So, imperative sentences. Sentences that give orders or instructions. Make request or offer advice are called imperative sentences. Mother, please buy me a packet of potato chips. Request. Don't eat potato chips. Command. Order. Have some fruits. They are healthy. Advice. Suggestion. Now, structure of an imperative sentence. Come here. Command. Hmm? In come is verb. Verb will be first. Take the medicine twice a day. Advice. These sentences begin with a verb. And the subject you is implied. You have to understand ke you. Hmm? In sentences that are request, usually please is used. Followed by the verbs. And the, an imperative sentence is followed by a full stop. Come here. Command. Please come immediately. Request. So that's it. Open the door. Command. Please pass me the salt. Request. Go left. Then turn right. And there you will find the school. This is suggestion. Do not. Do take the medicines regularly. This one's the suggestions. Stop the music at once. Command. You should visit a doctor immediately. Suggestion. Please help me find my book. Request. You can try this medicine. It has no side effects. This is also a suggestion. Okay. Now here. Sentences that are used to ask questions are called interrogative sentences. Are you Mrs. Sharma? What are you looking for? See question marks are there. Okay. Now in interrogative sentences, two types of sentences are there. No and yes question and WH questions. We should remember that in an interrogative sentence, we place the auxiliary verb before the subject. And we always put a question mark at the end of an interrogative sentence. Now, let us discuss this in details. They have bought sweets. This is a statement. Okay. Subject is they. Auxiliary verb have. Now, now we are changing it to a question. So, have they bought sweets? Auxiliary verb will come front and remaining will go at the after that. Okay. Subject is they and bought sweets. In the interrogative sentence, B. The auxiliary verb have is placed before the verb they. A question mark is used at the end of an interrogative sentence as shown in sentence B. Structure of an interrogative sentence. Auxiliary verb then subject and remaining. Are you Mrs. Sharma? The above sentence is an example of yes or no question. In this we can we have to answer yes or no only. They are known as yes or no questions. Which means a question that can be answered in yes or no. Such a question begins with an auxiliary verb. Some auxiliary verbs are is, do, have, can, was, where, had, which help other verbs to form sentences and voices. Page 10 children of your grammar. Sorry I forgot to tell you. Okay. 
the above sentence is an example of yes or no okay done uh, some auxiliary verbs are that also i told you examples what are you looking for the above sentence is an example of wh this is wh question what hmm? these questions cannot be answered in yes or no and begin with question words such as what why when where whom whose or which wh questions begin with interrogative pronouns like hmm? who whom whose and are also used to ask questions these are used only for persons who has written this letter anil has written this letter we cannot say yes can no hmm? whose bag is this it is sonal's bag whom do you want to reward i want to reward alka interrogative pronoun who is used as a subject whom refers to the object who called you see subject is who and you is object whom are you calling object is whom and subject is you nowadays in formal conversation who is commonly used instead of whom whom does she want to meet who does she want to meet both the sentences are correct you can use who also and whom also what is used for persons to inquire about their trade or profession what is also used to refer to things what is in the bag my clothes are in the bag what are you eating i am eating an apple which is used when we ask about things or about one particular thing in a group which is your bottle which of these paintings have you made so which is also used to ask questions about persons when we have to select a person from a group which of you gave the application this is full which of you gave the application that means this is a full group which of the boys is ready to play interrogative adjectives are also used to ask questions what snakes which girl and whose book now adverbs are interrogative adverbs are also used to ask questions where when how why how often how long and how soon these are all adverbs hmm? telling you something more about a verb they are going to the party are they going to the party they are coming now are they coming now this also i have given you all the answers so you will copy down page number 12 yeah most of it. see the movie was boring was the movie boring question mark okay they are at home this what i have given you you have to copy children i'll give you the uh, sorry explanation and you have to write the notes from my notes only see exclamatory sentences help us to communicate strong feelings or surprise admiration appreciation wonder and shock what a beautiful baby he is how wonderful the painting is the structure of an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence begins with what or how it is followed by an exclamation mark hmm? for example the word order is altered in an exclamatory sentence he is a beautiful baby this is assertive declarative sentence normal so the above sentence transforms into what a beautiful baby he is hmm? Here, yeah, subject is he and verb is is. Verb will be last, and there will be an exclamation mark. The painting is wonderful. How wonderful the painting is! Exclamation mark here. These are written for you, so you will write from here. Now our last page, page number thirteen. So we'll be able to complete the lesson number one. Hmm? the here and the given words to form a sentence as directed remember to use exclamation mark full stop question mark and capital letters where required talk in the class do not command do not talk in the class sachin is playing not in the match so sachin is not playing in the match 
Come please here to request. Please come here. The weather lovely how? How lovely the weather is? These answers I have given here. These also. Hmm? Here full page all answers have been given. So you will have to copy down this directly. Explanation I have done for you. Hmm? In very very neat and clean writing children. I am completing this letter, uh, this full lesson over here. Hmm? And you will be getting the PDFs as soon as you get you to copy down the notes. That will be your homework. Homework is only copying down the notes and learning it, understanding it. Okay, bye children.